Todd Chrisley recently had his first interview after being imprisoned. Although Chrisley's prison prohibited him from participating in the interview, News Nation's Brian Enton spoke with Chrisley's lawyer and relayed his client's responses. During the interview, the institution was accused of several startling things. Here are the accusations made by Chrisley against the prison and the implications for the reality TV star. Todd Chrisley makes allegations about jail. The 54-year-old Todd Chrisley has managed to spread his message even though the prison won't let him do interviews. And Tin conducted an interview with Todd through his lawyer, during which he discussed the purported circumstances of Pensacola Prison. Todd was sentenced to prison after he and his 50-year-old wife Julie were found guilty of hiding money from the IRS and cheating banks out of almost $30 million. Todd claimed in the interview that the jail's facilities were unsafe, filthy, and hazardous. Todd says the food the jail is giving its inmates is stored in facilities with rodents, squirrels, and even a dead cat, and that it has beyond its expiration date. It is at least a year out of date. Todd claims it has expired by a year. He added that the men in the prison are being starved and that the majority of prisoners don't even receive 1,000 calories each day. Since he can purchase meals at the commissary, Todd claims he has been able to eat more healthfully. He claimed that the warden has restricted what the prisoners can purchase in order to keep them from becoming hungry. Todd asserts, she stated that the commissary is a privilege, not a right. The prison claimed that the meal was both nutritious and current when News Nation questioned about it. Todd says his family is being blackmailed by someone in the jail. Todd Chrisley made one more significant accusation during the interview. He claimed that while he was asleep, a photo of him was taken. After that, they promised to safeguard Todd for $2,600 per month and sent the picture to his daughter. Furthermore, this wasn't the first time the issue has arisen. In July, Todd's lawyer, Jay Surgent, made a similar statement. He claimed that Todd had been photographed while doozing off, but he made no mention of the fact that the photo had been delivered to Todd's daughter as part of a blackmail plot at the time. Another charge was made by Todd, who claimed to have recordings of the prison officials discussing the use of diesel therapy and shackles to humble him. Most of the accusations made against the prison have been refuted. What do you think about Todd Chrisley's claims that he was mistreated and that the prison had poor living conditions? Is it appropriate to launch an investigation or should we just accept Todd for who he is? Please share your opinions in the comments section below.